All right, now we're doing 7Q, simple fun number 37, house numbers sum. This is by My Jinx in 2015, and 92% of people like it. Basically, there's some kid walking, and he's counting up uh, house numbers, and uh, whenever he sees the number zero, it throws him so hard that he stops counting, or something like that. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to get to this zero in, these, in this array, and uh, until we get to that zero, we're going to sum everything just like this, all right? So basically, to start off with, we're going to turn this into concise syntax. We're going to say const here, house number sum equals input array, and the rest of it we're going to turn into an arrow, all right? Down here, we're going to say console.log so we can uh, easily test it, and then let's get cracking. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the slice method, and if you don't know about the slice, me slice method, it returns a shallow copy of a portion of array into a new array object selected from start to end where end is not included, uh, where start and end represent the index of items in that array, all right? Uh, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to say input array dot slice, and we're going to slice all the way up till this is zero. So we're going to have zero first as the first index and then we're to get the, the to get the index of the zero we're going to use this index of method which returns the first index at which a given element can be found in the array right so we're going to say uh input array dot index of and we're going to put zero right here and uh that should cut it right to here because uh as we said on slice it doesn't, the end is not included. So let's test that out real quick. And look at what we got right there. Uh, just like that. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the reduce method to add it all together. And the reduce method, if you don't know, uh, executes a user supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. Uh, also, the first time that the callback is run, there's no return value of the previous calculation. So if supplied, an initial value may be used in this place, and that's what we're going to use. And uh, the, per the easiest to understand case for reduce is uh, to return the sum of all elements. Well, we're just going to do a sum of the sliced elements, but you know. Uh, so the syntax we're going to use is this arrow function syntax. We're going to have uh, reduce here. We're going to have the previous value, the current value, an arrow right here, an expression right here, a comma, and then the initial value, right? So let's do that. We're going to say dot reduce, and we're going to have in here pre prev for previous, cur for current, uh, arrow right here, and let's say prev plus cur, and then we're going to have the initial value of zero, just like that. Let's see what this is, and it gives us eleven. All right. So let's get rid of this, and let's get rid of this. Let's test it out one more time, just like a thought, attempt it. All right, submit it. And as you can see, it's pretty much just like this. Uh, they changed up the prep and curve to S and V, but it's just like that one. Uh, this one's gonna be some sort of, this one's gonna be kind of like a for loop uh, where they have a sum equals zero and then it just goes until it hits zero and then we're gonna return the sum like that. Uh, and then here's another reduce uh, where they use the current index as well. Uh, and then they just stop. It's just, you know, whatever's less than index of zero. Uh, and there we go. So let's go to mine. Just me on this one. Best practice in my opinion. Very much like this one. And we'll see you next time.